Hail, Votre Majesty. The armies wait on you. What of the enemy? The blighted ones mass on the hill in larger numbers than ever we've seen. <sighs> we are outmatched on the field. Andraste armed us with faith. Our allies are weakened from Cumberland. We are aided by the Maker's hand. I do not doubt. Yet your brow is vexed. Oh, pride killed our prophet. Her words are all we've left. If victory spurns us, who will carry them forward? Who will bear the chant of light? Cousin, the army waits. Maker, for a soul fit to lead them. Oh. From Sword of Dracon, an examination of the life and history of the father of Orlais by Marquise Friette. It's little wonder King Dracon's life is one of the most popular tales in Orlais. After founding both Orlais and the Chantry, the charismatic young noble battled the second blight for the rest of his reign. Freyat's plays are notable for being the first to portray Orlais' founder as a man beset of doubts, as are we all, instead of an idealized cipher. A few grand clerics attempted to ban and the play, saying it criticized the current state of the Chantry, but the Sword of Draken proved too popular among the masses and the nobility, and remains a staple of Orlesian theater to this day. From a Compendium of Orlesian Theatre, Volume 2, Classics of the Storm Age, by Magister Pelinar. If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, binkyproductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive! If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destiny's One, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.